Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody left me a message off one of my videos on how you would know to make sure that there's no hairline in your drawing. Say so somebody sent you this, and I just I I made it real quick and I've added some colors just to make it kind of stand out. But as you can see, I've checked on it, but it says outline color none. There's no outline color. Well, there is. There's some outlines in this drawing. So just go to Object Group ungroup all objects and then when you click on that it shows you down here it's it's got a border of uh, half of a point this one border half of a point this one border half of a point but on this one it shows you right there a hairline now you can always go to view and go to wireframe and it's going to show you the lines but it's still not going to show you the thickness of the line and whether it is uh, going to cut out. So if you're doing a, a raster job and then a vector job and thinking you're going to cut this whole shape out, it's going to come back in and cut that circle out. So the best way to do something like this is when you have an item and you want it cut out and you're going to do a combination job, we just don't do a combination job. So let's select all this and let's get a cut line and let's make a border around it. So we're going to engrave this. Let's say it had some text or, you know, I'm not saying you would ever engrave this shape. But I'm going to click the left arrow key or the right arrow key and move my outline over. So then when you go to print and go to laser and check right here, selected. And then go to preferences. And you've already done your raster, so you're going to do your vector now. And it should show up in the preview box. Let's see, preview. So it's showing you that it's just going to cut this red line. There's, there's a red line there, but it's not going to cut it. So let's go over that again. Let's back out of here. I've got my outline selected, and I know I do because I can move it over. And you can move it back, and it's still selected. Now you would run a... A raster job, which you would engrave the text or whatever's in here, the different shades of black. And because you've got that selected, then go and run just a, on just selected. And it's going to show you what it's going to cut. So let's back up here. Let's do this for a second. Let's cancel that out. And let's don't have a selection. Let's go to, I need to make that default and I'm going to go uh, preferences vector press OK and it's going to cut out that circle because that circle is inside there it sees it as a vector line so don't do that go to print selected well I don't have anything selected see so let's select on our box we can move it over to make sure we have it Move it back. You haven't changed anything. Now we're going to go to selected. And I need to change this to my engraver. And there is my object that's going to cut out. So on, on things that you're not sure of, and it doesn't really take any longer to engrave it and then cut it out. Because it's going to do that anyway. Let's say you have one or 20 objects. It's going to raster them all first and then cut them all out. So it doesn't matter if you have one or 20 uh, just let it raster and then go back and do a vector cut of just those selected. Because there's really no way that I know of to physically check. Let's get rid of that hairline. And you can encompass it all. And it's still going to say with no outline color because of the fact that it's, it, it's grouped so many things together. That it, it can't recognize that this is a hairline. It's a black hairline. So you might not even see it. Let's zoom in here. Of course, you can see there's an outline there, but not necessarily. Anyway, hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.